Hey you guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Mink and of course this is none other than Mink's Kinks. And y'all, I am just so freaking excited for today's video. So as you guys can see, I am literally dripping wet, which y'all know I literally hate. But this is actually part two to my wash day with Nature's Little Secret. And y'all, I am so excited. I had a great wash day. I will link that video up above. It went up last week, so you guys will see how spectacular of a wash day it was. Like, I'll show y'all my hair real quick because the hair just looks good, okay? So this is what my hair is looking like. And I mean, y'all, y'all, come on. Like get into the material like come on hair looks good and this is with my hair drying out a little bit just a little bit um, maybe 10 minutes i mean i literally just had to do my setup and everything and y'all <laughs> i am so excited for today's wash day so y'all know i had to put my hair up y'all know i cannot and wet hair okay but first things first if you're new around here hey my name is mink i do natural hair obviously lifestyle book and beauty content so if you're interested in any of those things definitely go ahead and hit that subscribe button okay go ahead and join the kinky crew fam we absolutely would love to have you i have so much content that i can't wait to get out to you guys i have so many things that i want to try and do and show you guys so i'm so excited for the things that i have coming and y'all don't want to miss none of it so make sure you hit that subscribe button hit the like button if you like the video it helps youtube disperse my content out into the youtube streets the algorithm all of the things and if you're really really locked in okay then make sure you have your notification bells on so that you never miss an upload from me so y'all like i said i have had an absolutely spectacular wash day so far and we're getting into part two which is the styling day and i'm styling with of course none other than nature's little secret so i have on a green t-shirt because all of the products i'm using today are green so let me tell y'all what's what's on the docket first i'm gonna go ahead in with the nature's little secret avocado moisture cream I recently reviewed this and I really, really, really was impressed. I really like it. This is definitely a thicker leave-in and y'all, they were gracious enough, okay, to send me a pump because mine came with the, um, like, squeeze top and I asked them to send me this and shout out to them, okay, um, because this is amazing. When I bought this, it was during, you know, the pandemic, okay, um, and all of the brands were running out of supplies and things and all of the things. So if you do purchase, first of all, you should use my code. I will leave my code on the screen, but um, it will also be in the description box if you're, you know, you know, okay. Um, it's 15% off. So definitely if you're buying, use that code, girl, use that code. Um, but I believe that these are being sold with the pumps again, which is spectacular because this is a thicker leave-in. So I'm going to apply this leave-in on camera with you guys and um, then I'm going to let it sit for maybe 10 minutes or so. Like I said, I literally just got out the shower and popped this t-shirt on. So I need to go moisturize and everything. So I'm going to do that and then we'll come back and we're going to style with a product that I'm so excited about. We're styling with the Oprah gel, y'all. And I... Listen, I've heard nothing but good things, so I'm so excited to see how my hair is going to turn out. I mean, so excited. And y'all, before I go in with my leave-in, I'm also going ahead in with the Nature's Little Secret Herbal Hair and Scalp Oil, and this is to seal and protect. Now, if you're a, a true Kinky Crew family member, okay, I really have not been applying oils to the length of my hair when I do wash and goes. If I'm doing a braid out, twist child y'all know i don't do twist outs all like that <laughs> but if i am doing more like a set style then i might use oil usually i do but for washing goes i have just learned that applying oil really does affect the hold of my gel and with this okra gel i'm kind of scared of it but i'm so excited because it's more like a cream gel and i don't know i don't have a whole lot of experience with cream gels um, but I have liked so many things from Nature's Little Secret that I'm like, I know I'm gonna love it. So I'm just gonna go ahead and apply this oil to my scalp because it says it's a hair and scalp oil. And there's so many good ingredients. So there's olive oil, peppermint, rose, ginger, lavender. There's so many good oils in this, which I expect nothing less from Nature's Little Secret because they are such a clean brand, but they have quality ingredients for an affordable price. And that, 
okay those two don't go together very often so i'm very excited that and this is a big oil this is eight ounces so i'm excited to go ahead and get into this now this isn't going to be something that i could tell you instantly that this is going to grow my hair down my back you know what i mean but i absolutely can't wait to dig into this oil and see over time how my hair reacts to it Okay y'all, oil is all applied and I took about half the size section in the back and this is what I'm going to work on just to apply the leave-in. Um, there are a couple different textures in here but yeah, we're going to work with what we got, okay? So y'all know me, I like to apply my products to soak and wet hair. So I'm just going ahead and getting my hair wet again and then we're going to go in with this avocado moisture cream. Y'all, it took me so long to get this pump open. I don't know why. It's something about me and these type of pumps that just don't get along. So I'm grabbing about this much. It's like three pumps just to see how it feels. Like I said, last time I was squeezing it out. So I'm not sure how much to go in with with the pump now. I did grab another two pumps because who was I kidding? And I do also have the banana leave-in conditioner as well, but since this is my first time using the gel, I wanted to use it with a leave-in that I have tried before. Um, so if you are curious about my thoughts on a leave-in alone, I do have a video on that as well. And I gotta say y'all, I really like the leave-in. Like it's so moisturizing. It feels so, so good. You can feel the nourishment going onto your hair. And it's just one of those products that every time I use it, I'm like, yeah. Like it left that much of an impression on me just from one use. And I feel nothing different this time. It's not a leave-in to me that I expect like crazy, crazy definition with or anything. Um, because that's not really the sole purpose. It's a moisture cream. So the moisture that it gives is really the star of the show. And if it adds definition to my hair, then that's an added bonus. Um, but as you guys can see, it does a little bit of defining. But it's, it's a moisture cream. So I'm looking for moisture. So I'm just going to go ahead and keep applying this leave-in to my hair. It feels great already. Um, and then I'm going to go ahead and apply, of course, with a gel on top. And I really do think that this combination together is going to be so, so good. It's a cooler day here. So it, it I could use some moisture, especially I wear my wash and goes all week. Personally, um, I only wash once a week. That's just something that I do. Um, so I really need the moisture to be locked and loaded and with this moisture cream as well as the gel I don't think the gel is going to be like a drying gel at all Pairing these two together. I have super super high expectations Because nature's little secret is just that girl like she keeps proving to me that this is that girl So i'm gonna go ahead and just apply this moisture cream to the rest of my head Like I said, I am gonna let it sit for about 10 minutes or so while I do some things and then i'll be back So that we can apply this gel together Okay guys, so I am back and I let the leave-in sit and y'all, my hair feels so, so good. Let me take it out so I can show y'all. But when I tell y'all immediately the softness, their shine on my hair, and I don't like overly shiny hair. It just doesn't call to me. But y'all, when I tell y'all my hair feels just like spectacular, like, oh my God. So this is what it looks like and like I said definition with this leave-in isn't a requirement because it's a moisture cream. It doesn't say anything about giving me definition and everything but there is some definition there making for a great base. So I am going to just take a small section because y'all this is more like a cream gel and I I don't know. I'm not really sure how this is going to work out, but let me section this and I'll be right back. I have been looking forward to using this product all wash day because I've heard nothing but good things from people about this okra curl gel. So it is 12 ounces. It's for all hair types. And that's something I can absolutely say with all of the Nature's Little Secret products I've tried so far, I, so far, I can see how they work on hair like mine. I definitely think they would work on looser textures. And I definitely think that they would work on thicker, more coarse, or dense textures too. Like, y'all, the products hit every time. I actually decided to pull this okra gel out because there's this trend going on TikTok where people are drinking okra water. And I've never tried okra, like eating it, digesting it. 
Um, and the closest thing I have is this gel. So I was like, let me go ahead and pull this out. So it says, we know okra may not be your favorite, but this nutrient-rich vegetable has some amazing benefits for your hair. Okra contains vitamins A, C, and K, which are great for the overall health of your hair and your scalp. Okra has a high mucilage content, which helps to create defined shiny curls. Okay. Define shiny curls. It also has great antibacterial properties. Our okra curl defining gel will leave your curls bouncy and defined while providing lasting hold. Bouncy, defined, lasting hold. What else could I want? Like, what else could I need? Okay. As for directions, it says after cleansing and conditioning hair, apply our banana leave in conditioner or the avocado moisture cream. Um, split hair into small sections. Okay. I think this is a small enough section but if I need smaller I will and apply gel to wet or soaking wet hair use fingers to rake smooth and or shingle each section re-wet section if necessary and for best results diffuse or sit under a hooded dryer okay that's perfect y'all I'm glad I read the directions today um that's perfect let me show y'all the consistency so y'all know what it's looking like so y'all can see that it's definitely more like a cream gel type of consistency Oh my goodness y'all I am so excited okay like I hope y'all can tell like I am very excited the only other styler I've tried was the curly custard which didn't work out for me but I don't like flaxseed gels or like that like I have a couple of my stash that I still need to try but I just haven't came across a flaxseed gel that really works for me I just don't think it's compatible with my hair type I don't know but I don't know I have such high expectations I have liked literally everything I've tried from nature's little secret with the exception of that curly custard that was the only product I've tried that just didn't work for me everything else has been a hit this is a one-stop shop and I'm telling you if I got this gel to work it's a wrap it's a wrap it's a wrap and I heard that the Irish Mall styling cream is also that girl and y'all know I love me a little cream styler these are black owned okay come on like take all my money just take all my money so the direction said that you can apply to wet or soaking wet hair and my hair is definitely wet today I don't want my hair to be soaking wet because like I said it's it's a cooler day today and I am going to sit under my dryer a little later but like I, I don't know I just don't want to do soaking wet hair today but this is what the section looks like with no product and y'all or I'm sorry with just the moisture milk and it looks good already like already so I'm taking about this much gel because again this is creamy up but it feels like a gel I mean there is some like tackiness it feels like a gel for sure um, so I'm going to start with that amount and see what I think. And you know, you can always build. You don't always have to just start off with a crazy amount. You could build. I'm going to apply some more water. I think this is going to apply better to soaking wet hair. Um, but as y'all can see, there's some definition. Alright, so I grabbed a little bit more product. I prefer to start out slow. You know, you can always add more. So I'm going to start at the roots with one hand and then with the other hand and the product that's on there I'm just going to like run my fingers through like a little raking and then I like to do a praying hands method if you need to apply more products at your root definitely go ahead and do so I need to do that this definitely feels like a gel but it's not like drying like my hair feels moisturized applying it you could just feel that holding factor on the gel which I can appreciate because it says less the hold so I'm just going ahead and doing a little coil down at this bottom section down here I just wanted a good little coil on this side and okay okay it's looking good already and I am just going to go ahead and just shingle the pieces that naturally separate and that's just how I'm going to do today's wash and go oh y'all it's it's promising like hello like hello it's it's promising it's promising it's very very promising y'all oh my god so i think that this is going to be more like a medium ish hold product because of that cream consistency which i'm not mad at at all i 
honestly haven't been reaching for my super stronghold gels anyway so having a medium weight type of gel is really going to do it for me so this is what my hair is looking like with the product all applied i mean come on I think that this is going to give me a good mix between definition and volume because it's not smoothing out like all of my frizz from what I can see. Maybe I just need to apply more. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I just need to apply a little bit more, but the curls are defining. Okay. The curls are defining. Oh. Y'all like, come on. Come yeah this just looks too good just too good okay this is wet hair this is wet hair i wonder what this is gonna look like like is it gonna be one of the wash and goes i have to stretch i don't know is my hair gonna shrink up what's it gonna do so i'm gonna just do this section i will continue to show you guys and y'all i will just come back once my hair is fully styled, I'll give y'all 360 and then I will go ahead. I'm going to let my hair air dry for maybe an hour or two and then I'm going to sit under my dryer. And we'll see. We'll see what this gel is talking about, y'all. We will see. So let me go ahead and get to it. Hey you guys, so I am back and these are my final results. Now let me tell y'all, I did my hair on Sunday, today is Thursday. I've been real lazy, just, okay? And I did literally just finish stretching my hair, so this is what it looks like. Just a little bit stretched, I didn't need to stretch it all the way. And don't mind this front section right here. Um, I've had my bonnet on for days and didn't realize that the front was getting smushed, so the curls are a little non-existent over there but y'all hair looks good so as you guys know i went in with the nature's little secret avocado more moisture cream and then the okra curl defining gel and let me tell y'all about this combo so y'all know i really do like this milk is that what it is no it's a cream i did not expect this um gel to be as hard holding as it was that's why i didn't apply the oil um to the ends to like seal it in and i think i might have liked it a little bit better if i did put the oil on my ends just to lessen up that crunch um or i'm thinking i could also put some of that irish moss um styling cream um because what i've heard that's really moisturizing too and do like a three-way combo it's not that i don't think that this isn't a good combination or that it didn't pair well i just only wash my hair every week so i don't really go back in and apply moisturize apply moisturizers and stuff and it's not that my hair necessarily feels it's not that my hair just feels like brittle and dry and stuff i think it's a combination of how hard that crunch is and i'm on day like what five of my hair so i think that i could just use a little bit more moisture if i'm going a week so still do like this i just need to find um what i'm gonna use with it with this gel now like i told y'all i did not expect this gel to be as hard holding as it was as my hair was drying, I think I came back and showed you guys a little bit of a clip. My hair was starting to get crunchy on the ends and I was starting to get that like ramen noodle-y type of hair, which y'all, I didn't expect at all because on application, I will say it was a very, it's like nothing I've ever used before. Literally like nothing I've ever used before. And that's because this is more like a cream gel type of consistency. 
um, y'all probably aren't really going to be able to see how much I use but literally just a little corner I felt like I was using a lot but in reality at the end I looked at it and I was like oh girl you're not even a fourth of the way through um this though it is a harder holding gel it goes on like a cream gel so for me it wasn't defining all of my curls all the way there was still some frizz after applying the gel then i would go back in and apply more gel which is probably why i got this crazy cast okay but um it's one of those gels it's not going to get all of your frizz at least for me in my tighter sections it didn't get like all of my frizz now you guys can see that even after stretching and stuff my hair still looks pretty good i have some uh oh i have some like coils that are still intact after even using heat which i for sure can appreciate but for me this isn't like a gel that's going to eliminate every ounce of frizz it's not that type of gel but i also like that that it's not it gives me both the volume and the definition like y'all my hair is still defined after using heat after using heat like hello um so that's that was very interesting because it didn't get all of my frizz but it got most of the frizz girl i don't know i don't know also y'all this um gel does have a six month shelf life and I hope that in the future, Nature's Little Secret can figure out a way to make this last a little longer, at least the 12 months. Um, because for me, like I said, I didn't use a whole lot of this gel at all. I literally just used, child, maybe a sixth of the jar. Um, so you didn't have to use a lot at all, even though I felt like I was using a lot. I, in reality, didn't use that much. Um, I really like the gel. I gotta say, I do like it. And I'm excited to figure out other combos and product combinations and everything that I'm going to try with this because this is a stronghold gel okay and as we come up on these summer months I'm definitely going to be dabbling into some more hard holding gels and um I love that for me a black owned hard hard holding gel absolutely absolutely I think this is great nature's little secret really did their big one with this I think it is a very very interesting product and like nothing on the market as far that as I've tried so I highly recommend I think it's a good gel um oh and there was a little bit of curdling on my hands between the moisture cream and the gel y'all I don't have any flakes at all y'all see I do have some shine as well but no flakes at all and like I said it's like day five here so I feel like I would have started seeing some flakes by now but hair is good so um I'm not sure what that was about maybe I was using a little bit too much of both or something I don't know but yeah y'all that is the end of this review I really do like this gel nature's little secret hits the mark again chow it's just one of those brands that they just they just get the products right like I, I I like it and I can see how this is a product that can work across the board with different hair types and textures and all of the things so yeah y'all i hope that you have enjoyed this video let me know down below if you have tried this product from nature's little secret and if you haven't and you're curious to try it i do have a discount code i'm an affiliate with the brand so i will leave it on the screen as well as it's always in my description box so yeah y'all that is the end of this video i hope that you guys enjoy it let me know what you guys think about my hair all of the things if you're new around here definitely go ahead hit the subscribe button join the kinky crew fam i love you guys so so much and i'll see my next one